Big Bad Horns Volume 2 is a collection of jazz, rock, blues, soul, Latin, and funk styles and contains saxophones, trombones, trumpets, tubas, electric guitars, drums, percussion, pianos, and so many more. Big Bad Horns Volume 2 is engineered to help creators of music to take our performances and make them their own. Before we get into the walkthrough, let's take a quick listen to some of the instruments, styles, and performances that are included in this library. Big Bad Horns Volume 2 is built on the Diegis Productions Performance Engine for Contact Framework, making it easy to create new and unique parts from the included performances. The Contact Performance Engine Framework contains three different instrument types, each providing customizable performance, behavior, and effects controls, giving you the ability to create unique and customized performances quickly and easily. Let's take a look at each of these instrument types in more detail. The performance instruments give you the ability to control and customize the included performance instruments in order to create new and unique performances, as well as give you complete control over all of the traditional mixer channel controls and effects. In each performance instrument, you will see three main sections. The big knobs, which control two different global effects. The play window, which allows you to adjust the sample position and behavior controls. And the console, where you can adjust the various mixer parameters. In this example, we'll be working with a single performance instrument in which the elements are separated on different octaves of the keyboard, allowing you to mix and match them however you like to create new and unique performances. My favorite drum performance is from Chorus 3. However, it's 10 bars long while most of the other elements are 4 or 8. Because of that, I'll shorten the performance so it fits with our other instruments. Now, let's mix in the piano from verse 1. Lastly, I'll finish it off with the bass, electric picking, and trombones from Chorus 2. Next, let's take a look at a group performance instrument. Group performance instruments have all the instrument's elements grouped in layers. Green keys include melodic elements, and blue keys contain the drums. Here, I've taken a number of my favorite elements and saved them to the save slots. Let's hear how they sound. I think the trumpets are sounding a little dry. Let's add some reverb. Let's solo the instrument to get it sounding just right. That's better. You can adjust various parameters of the different elements of the group performance instruments individually to fine tune the performance to your heart's content. Lastly, let's see how this performance sounds using the big knobs. Now we can make our own unique performance using our saved elements.
The single instruments are arranged for quick and easy overdubs and allow you to control and adjust the start, playback, and endpoints of the included performances. You can use the performance and save slot keys to rearrange, customize, and create unique performances in real time. In each single instrument, you'll see the following sections. The big knobs, the play window, the effects window, and the sample cycle window, which allows you to adjust and turn on or off auto cycle mode. We'll discuss this in the next section. Here we have a saxophone single instrument. I've already picked three of my favorite segments of the performances and saved them to the save slots. We can perform these in real time. as well as incorporate a combination of both the purple save slot and blue performance keys into our performance. For now though, I'd like them to play one after the other just by holding down one key. To do this, I'll select the auto cycle function. And since I only saved three samples, I'll bring this down to three. Now, when I hold any one of the save slot keys, it will cycle through my saved samples, creating a new performance. However, I think I want to change the key of the performance, which I'll do by pressing one of the red transpose keys. Here, I've taken it to the next level with this bass single instrument, using all seven slots to create a highly unique and interesting performance. I can choose to turn off auto cycle mode and play my saved performances in real time in the order of my choosing. The sliced instruments include various sound effects, sound shaping, and performance tools which allow you to customize and control the individual parameters of an instrument's performance. Rearrange, remix, and tweak each and every aspect of a performance to fit your composing and production needs. In each sliced instrument, you will see the following sections. The big knobs, the window editor, which provides custom controls for controlling, adjusting, and manipulating the instrument's performances the effects window, and the playing mode window, which allows you to switch between the performance and slice modes, as well as adjust the settings for each. We'll start with this tenor solo sliced instrument. There are two playing modes in every sliced instrument, performance mode and slice mode. The performance mode allows you to create and customize a performance by controlling the note's playback location in real time. Slice Offset allows you to choose which slice will start the performance when triggered from the selected MIDI note, and Note shows the triggered key on the keyboard. Before affecting anything, holding any blue key will play the performance as is. Using the red key switches, you can cycle through the various performances available in the instrument. The green keys will transpose the key of the performance. The purple will adjust the rate, and the orange will play the slices at random. In addition, as usual, we can edit global effects down here, but we can also adjust various aspects of each individual slice in this area. The highlighted parameter is the one that is being adjusted, while the rest will remain unaltered. Now let's take a look at this electric rhythm guitar sliced instrument. The slice performance mode maps each of the performance's slices to a single key on the keyboard. The slice mode has two performance options, continuous and one shot. Continuous mode allows you to create customized performances by performing the trigger location from your controller in real time. And one shot mode allows you to trigger one of the audio file slices as a single performance. Now we can treat each slice as its own sample to create the ideal performance for our project. In the edit menu, you can make macro adjustments to the various parameters. Or even generate random levels on all parameters.